When you arrive at a takeoff, the best thing to do is get ready as soon as you can. Get into your bubble, check your kit, make sure your lines are sorted and everything is perfect because this is the time for you to just chill out and relax. Keep an eye on the weather conditions and get yourself in a really good place for the task. But also spend time hanging out with your friends and make this quality time. Look, these three wise monkeys. <laughs> Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. <laughs> At a competition, you'll get a really good official briefing. But if you're just flying cross country, this is the time for you to get together with your mates, make a plan and make sure everything's set for the flight. You should be familiar with your equipment so that you can punch in the turn points and the radiuses when the meet director gives them to you. And what you should all notice is that at the end of the briefing, the total distance of the task, which is on the task board, should also be the same that is on your instrument. Make sure you understand the scoring system and you get all the information you need because that briefing is there to help you understand what the task is, where the crux points will be, and why the task is being set. So if they're setting it out in the flatlands, it's probably because the mountains aren't working, for example, or it's safer there. But listen to the brief, make sure you understand it, and also give yourself time to visualize the whole task all the way around to goal. Okay, so task one is uh, quite simple. It's uh, 48 Ks. We're just a bit worried about the development. Maybe it's four o'clock. So we're setting a, a short task which gets people in the flatlands. So the task is deal. Yeah. And start with a five kilometer cylinder from B90. And so pilot take off, get as much altitude as you can. And then wait, 1230, and then it's entry, and then go. So go from there to B26. Now that gives them the choice to go down the mountain way, and then out, or straight in the flats, which is the faster line. And then from there, it's up to A10. Two kilometer radius from A10. And then from A10, there's a 10 kilometer radius from B27, which clicks it, keeping them in the valley. And then a straight line down the center of the valley to end the speed section of the kilometer radius. Once the briefing's over, make sure you get your tracker, and it's working and you've got the right food, liquids, everything for your flight. Because you could be flying a task for three or four hours and you've got to be prepped for that. So make sure your radio's in a good place and you can adjust it in flight in case it's pressing and annoying everyone. Make sure all your instruments are reading the same and make sure you are comfortable. When you approach the takeoff, your heart rate will go up. That's totally normal. But you've got to trust in your skill set, trust in your ability to prep that glider, get it ready, build the wall, inflate it, keep it loaded, turn, drop your shoulders and go. If you have too much brake on, then air goes underneath the glider. So ease off your brakes and let the leading edge inflate a little bit so that you create a really nice symmetrical wall ready for you to then bring it up smoothly, break it, turn, drop your shoulders and go, but don't jump. Keep constant downhill pressure as you inflate. Step into it and then quickly step back, turn and go. Don't stay and play because that's where you're exposed to a deflation and problems. If your glider does come up and go off to the side, then obviously walk to the lower wing, but do it at an angle downhill, because that brings it back up better, loaded, and allows you to then keep going forwards and fly without getting pulled off your feet. So a good takeoff is done decisively, with no hesitation. It's literally got it already, my gliders, brakes, lines all sorted, bomb, inflate, brake, turn, go. That's it. That's it. <laughs> it's like a dance move. It's two steps back, two steps in. Turn and go. Drop your shoulders and fly. That's what it should be. Keeping the load on the wing. Turning. Braking. Dropping your shoulders. Keeping that load, all those lines tight as you dive forward and build up that takeoff speed.
When you're good at takeoffs, it starts your flight in a good frame of mind because you've got nothing to worry about and you can focus on the flight ahead.